Sulayman bin Dawud Arabic, Su and bn Dad Solomon son of David was, according to the Quran, a Malik Arabic, Mali K King and Nabi Arabic, Nabi Prophet of the Israelites. Islamic tradition generally holds that he was the third king of Jewish people, and a just and wise ruler for the nation. Islam views Solomon as one of the elect of God, who was bestowed upon with many God-given gifts, including the ability to speak to animals and rule jinn. Muslims further maintain that he remained faithful to a one and only God throughout his life, constructed his temple, which became one of the key houses of worship, reigned justly over the whole of the Israelites, was blessed with a level of kingship which was given to none after him and before him, and fulfilled all of his commandments, being promised nearness to God in paradise at the end of his life. Arab historians regarded Solomon as one of the greatest rulers around the world. Narrative in the Quran Topic. Topic. Judgment on the field Topic. In the earliest narrative involving Solomon, the Qur. and says that Solomon was in the company of his father, when two men came to ask David to judge between them regarding a hearth Arabic, hearth field. The first of the two men said that he owned a vineyard of which he took great care the whole year through. But one day, when he was absent, the other man's sheep had strayed into the vineyard and devoured the grapes. He asked to be compensated for this damage. Upon hearing the man's complaint, Solomon suggested that the owner of the sheep take the other man vineyard to repair and cultivate until the vines returned to their former state, whereupon he should return it to its owner. At the same time, the owner of the vineyard would care for the sheep and benefit from their wool and milk until his land was returned to him, at which point he would return the sheep to their owner. Solomon's level of judgment, which the Qur. and says in this particular incident surpassed that of David, would characterize Solomon throughout his life. Hikmah Arabic, high KMT wisdom, according to Muslim tradition, would always be associated with Solomon, who would later even be referred to as Sulaiman al-Hakim Arabic. Sula Y Ma and Al Haki Y Solomon the Wise. Topic Rain. Topic When David died, Solomon inherited his position as the prophetic king of the Israelites. He prayed to God to grant him a kingdom which would be greater than that of any after him and before him. God accepted Solomon's prayer and gave him what he pleased. It was at this stage that Solomon began to acquire the many gifts that God would bestow upon him throughout his life. The Qur. and narrates that the wind was made subservient to Solomon, and he could control it of his own will, and that the jinn also came under Solomon's control. The jinn helped strengthen Solomon. S. Rain, and the unbelievers among them Shayadin, were forced building for him monuments, houses of worship, artwork, reservoirs and the first temple. God also caused a miraculous Ein Arabic a -y fount or spring of molten kidder Arabic or brass or copper to flow for Solomon, to be used by the jinn in their construction. Solomon was even taught the languages of various animals, such as ants. The Quran recounts that, one day, Solomon and his army entered a wade in Naml Arabic, Wadi al Naml Valley of the Ant on seeing Solomon and his army, a Namla Arabic, Na Mlt female ant warned all the others to get into your habitations, lest Solomon and his hosts crush you underfoot without knowing it. Immediately understanding what the ant said, Solomon, as always, prayed to God, thanking him for bestowing upon him such gifts and further avoided trampling over the ant colonies. Solomon's wisdom, however, was yet another of the gifts he received from God, and Muslims maintain that Solomon never forgot his daily prayer, which was more important to him than any of his gifts. Topic. Conquest of Saba Topic. Another important aspect of Solomon's kingship was the size of his army, which consisted of both men and jinn. Solomon would frequently assess his troops and warriors as well as the jinn and all the animals who worked under him. One day, when inspecting his troops, Solomon found the Hud Hud Arabic, who, d green peafowl or hoopoo, missing from the assembly. Shortly later, however, the Hud Hud arrived to Solomon's court, saying, 
I have compassed territory which thou hast not compassed, and I have come to thee from Saba with tidings true. The Hud Hud further told Solomon that the people of Sheba worshipped the sun, but that the woman who ruled the kingdom was highly intelligent and powerful. Solomon, who listened closely, chose to write a letter to the land of Sheba, through which he would try to convince the people of Sheba to cease in worshipping the sun, and to come to the worship of God. Solomon ordered the Hud Hud to give the letter to the Queen of Sheba, and then to hide and observe her reaction. The Hud Hud accepted Solomon's orders, and flew to give the letter to her. The Queen then called her ministers in the court and announced the letter of Solomon stating to the people of Sheba. In the name of Allah the Compassionate the Merciful, I warned you to stop worshipping the sun, and accept Allah as the only God, with Solomon as his messenger." She asked for suggestions from her minister and administration stating that, O oh my people, I know that you all are powerful and brave warriors, and no one on the face of the earth can defeat our army, but still I want your opinion." The people of the court replied, you have all the power, and whatever order you deliver, you will find us obedient." Eventually, however, the queen came to Solomon, announcing Islam Arabic, Islam submission to God. Death According to the Quran, the death of Solomon was a lesson to be learned, then, when we decreed Solomon's death, nothing showed them his death except a little worm of the earth, which kept slowly gnawing away at his staff, so when he fell down, the jinn saw plainly that if they had known the unseen, they would not have tarried in the humiliating penalty of their task. <laughs> Muhammadan in the Song of Solomon As inspired by verses of the Qur'an and, Muslims would imply that Muhammad ibn Abdullah is mentioned in the Song of Songs, chapter 5, noting the consonantal similarity between Muhammad's Arabic name Arabic, Muhammadi consonant letters, MHMD, and the Hebrew word in the 16th verse which was translated as, altogether lovely, that is, Muhammadim, Hebrew, Muhammadim consonant letters, MHMDYM. See also Topic Sulayman Biblical narratives and the Quran Legends and the Quran Qisas al Anbiya Arabic Salan by Ya Stories of the Prophets Surat and Naml Arabic Surat al Ma'am Chapter of the Ant The Kingdom of Solomon Iranian film Topic. References to Solomon in the Quran Topic. Appraisals for Solomon, 2 102, 6-81, 21-81-82, 27-15-16, 27-18-23, 27-36-39, 24-34, 34-12-13, 38-30-41, 38-35-40, Solomon's preaching, 4 to 163, 27 to 25, 27 to 31, 27 to 44. Solomon judged, 21 to 78 minus 79. Fitna to Solomon, 38 to 32 minus 34. Solomon and Queen Balki, Sheba, 27 to 28 minus 31, 27 to 34 minus 44. The Kingdom of Sheba, 27 to 23, 34 to 15, 34 to 18. Solomon's death, 34 to 14. Topic. References. Topic.